Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we are here heading into Lafia. And today what we have for you are just a few things you should know before you go to Lafia, um, just so you can enjoy it better, you know, because there's cool places like Riga, and yes, you can go skiing at some little resorts here in the winter time to have your nice little, oh, hot fire and stuff like that. So let's get started. Now, a lot of people might not be sure where Lafia actually is. If you look at the Baltics and you look like between Germany and Poland, and then there's like Finland over there, you've got these three countries. Estonia's on top, Lithuania is on the bottom and Lafia is right in the middle. And the thing is the capital and the probably the most important place you should see when you go to Lafia actually is the best place to go is Riga, the capital. It's got amazing architecture, Art Nouveau buildings and more historic buildings like the Blackheads house or the, the Three Brothers. You have all kinds of cool stuff there. The Occupation Museum in Riga, all really, really nice to see. But the thing is, is with a cool city like Riga, which is great for partying, there's actually other places you can go and visit within the country. There's some really nice you, know, you can go hit the beaches and stuff like that for example if you're in Riga you can go to Yurmala that's a nice beach place or you can go to Liepaja which is on the beach which is just north of Klaipeda if you're in Lithuania there are those things but also you should know is Lafia is a much more of a nature centric tourist destination and you can go in inland and see the national park by Sugulda and you see you go to Sezis where there's some you know you can see the castles and stuff like that so there are some things you can see and do outside of there and actually in the winter time there's actually stuff you can do in the winter time too they develop some kind of smaller I guess you'd say ski resorts with little smaller hills you can go to to have a nice time there now for some of the kind of like technical issues you want to look at look Lafayette is part of the European Union so all the normal laws and regulations work like that here too they use the euro here and uh, you're going to use credit cards most of the places too so credit cards cash you'll be fine always keep cash with me to pay for the little things because not every place does take credit cards so do have some cash on there for you ATMs are pretty prevalent in the bigger cities and the smaller towns it's not as easy but if there's a bank there'll be one you shouldn't worry too much when you're looking to get around Lafayette there are some trains you could take to a few places but your best bet is taking the buses around the country because it does go everywhere so that does make it easier and if you're looking up for some of the major places to go in the bus if you want to go down to Vilnius in, in Lithuania that's about four hours Vilnius is four hours and then if you go up to Tallinn it's about four and a half hours on the on the bus there the trains my recommendation you're going to take a train if you're like going to go to Moscow or St. Petersburg or Minsk that's probably a more comfortable way to go they are slower and there are buses that go to those places but just know the train slower maybe a bit more comfortable but it's not super it's, it, you're not riding on the German ICEs let's say that so I always recommend taking the buses when you go in terms of accommodation the towns have hotels and stuff like that but what you have is a lot of apartment rentals especially if you're going to go to Riga I recommend getting an apartment instead because it's fair priced there's a lot of a lot of options out there and the people have really opened up their homes to let people in another thing is if you look at the price of coming to Lafia it still is pretty cheap I mean I know Lithuanians that come to go to Riga to go partying because it's cheaper for them to party there than it is in Lithuania and they're both rather affordable countries so it's not going to be bad for your budget another thing you might wonder is hey what about the land Language. What is Lafian? Well, don't worry. Paldies, just know that. Paldies is thank you. All right. You have Lafian, you have Russian, and the tourism ministry, you'll hear a lot of English. So if you speak one of those three, you should be fine. If I guess you're watching this video, you probably speak English. And so that's pretty okay in, in tourist places. When you get outside of the tourist areas in Riga, finding English is a little bit harder to do, but you still will get by okay. Now, in terms of food, when you are here, there's a chain of restaurants you should check out, especially if you're in, uh, if you're in Riga, you have to is Lido and it's like a buffet style thing so you have a lot of cabbage meats shajlik which is like pork meat on a skewer shish kebab kind of stuff a lot of potatoes a lot of cream a lot of cream and, and sour cream and stuff like that you will have when you are here you might see also little uh, dumplings you might have all kinds of stuff and the food is it's very basic but it's very filling and that does help out for tourists because it's cheap on your wallet and really fills you up though I will say in terms of prices it is affordable but when you go to Riga, going out to restaurants there is more expensive than the rest of the country. Just like any, any country you go to, the capital, biggest city is usually more pricey. So just a heads up on that. In terms of safety, I would say one thing is late night, you want to be careful, especially in Riga with drunks and stuff like that. That can be an issue. In the smaller towns, you're not going to have so many issues, but do keep an eye out if you go in late night. 
Another thing I would recommend to look out for, taxi drivers sometimes can go the wrong way and stuff like that. So what I recommend is do the taxis that you call up and order them because then that seems to be a little bit more reputable than the people you get off the street. And so that can help you out. And I'll be honest with you, if you're coming to the Baltics, Tallinn is the prettiest city to go to and Vilnius is after that. But for partying, Riga is the best place. So it really depends what you're really looking for. Um, in general, Lafia, not the most on offer, but it does have some really cool stuff and it really does start with Riga. So I hope that helped you know a little bit more about Lafia before you come. You can drink the water, you'll be fine there. It might not taste great, but you'll be fine, okay, with that. But otherwise, you should be fine. I hope this helps you know a little bit more about Lafia before you come. We actually have a video on tips for visiting Riga, since I'm gonna guess most of you are going to Riga and that goes for a lot more Riga specific things. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. If you wanna learn more, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. Bye from the border between Lafayette and Lithuania. Bye.